English conversation. Example 1. A pattern conversation between Jordan, a new employee, and Casey, their team leader, on Jordan's first day at a new job. This place is bigger than I expected. Jordan? Hi, I'm Casey, your team leader. Welcome aboard. Thanks, Casey. I'm excited to get started. Just feeling those first day jitters. Completely normal. We've all been there. Let me give you a quick tour, introduce you to the team, and get you set up. How's that sound? Sounds perfect. Great. Over here we have the break room. Feel free to help yourself to coffee, tea, or anything in the fridge. Just remember to label your food. Noted. Thanks. And here's our team area. Everyone, meet Jordan, our newest member. Hey, hey Jordan. Jordan. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Looking forward to working with you all. And this is your desk right here. We've got your computer all set up, and HR should be sending over some onboarding materials shortly. Great, thanks. Do we have any team meetings or orientations today? We have a team huddle at 10 a.m. every morning. Today, we'll introduce you and give a quick overview of our current projects. There's also a new hire orientation at 2 p.m. with HR. They'll go over company policies, benefits, and all the administrative stuff. Sounds good. Anything I should prepare or bring? Just yourself and any questions you might have. We're here to help, so don't hesitate to ask anything. Remember, everyone wants you to succeed. I appreciate that. Thanks for making this process smooth, Casey. Of course. Welcome to the team, Jordan. Let's make it a great first day. Example 2. A pattern conversation between Jamie, who's interested in asking Alex out, and Alex, who's met Jamie a few times at social gatherings. Hey Alex. Great seeing you again at Ryan's party last weekend. Oh, hey Jamie. Yeah, it was a fun night. I really enjoyed our conversation about traveling. Me too. You have such fascinating stories from your trips. I'd love to hear more. Maybe over coffee or dinner, if you're up for it. Oh. Well, thanks. I've enjoyed our chats as well. Sure, coffee sounds good. When were you thinking? How about this Saturday? There's this cozy little cafe downtown that makes the best cappuccinos. Sounds delightful. Saturday works for me. What time? How about 3 p.m.? It's usually quiet around that time, perfect for conversations. Sounds great. I'll see you then. And thanks for asking, Jamie. I'm looking forward to it. Me too, Alex. I'm glad you said yes. See you Saturday. Example 3. A patterned conversation between Taylor, a shopper, and Morgan, a store associate, in a clothing store. Excuse me, do you have this shirt in a medium? Let me check for you. It seems we don't have it out here, but let me check the back stock for you. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. Good news. I found one in medium for you. Oh, perfect. Thanks for checking. I also wanted to ask if you have any new arrivals in jackets? Yes, we do. We've just received our fall collection. It's right over there on the left. Would you like some recommendations? That'd be great. Based on that shirt you've picked, I think you might like this trench coat here and this bomber jacket. They're both very popular this season. I love this bomber jacket. I'll try both of these on. Where are the fitting rooms? Right this way, just around that corner. I'll start a room for you. I think I'll take the shirt and the bomber jacket. The trench wasn't the right fit for me. 
No problem. I'm glad you found something you liked. I'll meet you at the counter to ring these up. Thanks for your help, Morgan. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Taylor. Enjoy your new purchases. Example 4. A pattern conversation between Chris and Jordan, a couple who've just finished dinner. I cooked dinner tonight. Could you please do the dishes? I had a really long day at work. Can we just do them in the morning? This is the third time this week we've left them overnight. It's so much harder to clean dried food, and it attracts pests. I get that, but you know I've been swamped with my project. It feels like you're not considering how tiring my days have been. I understand you're tired, but so am I. We need to share responsibilities. It's not fair if one person keeps bearing the brunt. I'm not saying I won't do them. Just, not right now. Maybe after I've rested a bit? I'd be okay with that. But please don't leave them overnight. Last time we did, I ended up doing them in the morning rush, and it wasn't pleasant. Okay, I promise I'll do them before bed. Thanks for understanding. And thank you for agreeing to do them. Maybe we can figure out a more sustainable dish cleaning schedule or even cook together, so the work feels less burdensome? That sounds like a good idea. Let's discuss it over the weekend. Example 5 A pattern conversation between Riley, who's moving to a new apartment, and Alex, their friend whom Riley is asking for help. Hey Alex, hope you're well. I've got some news. Hey Riley. What's up? I'm moving to that new apartment complex downtown next weekend. I'm pretty excited but also a bit overwhelmed with all the packing and moving. Oh wow, congrats. Moving is always a mix of excitement and stress. Do you need any help? Thanks for offering. Actually, I was wondering if you might be free next Saturday to help with the big move? I'll provide pizza and drinks, of course. Count me in. I can bring my van too. It should help with moving some of the larger items. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. I'm trying to be organized, so I'll make sure most things are boxed up before you arrive. Sounds like a plan. Let's start early so we can get the majority done in the morning. How's 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. works perfectly. I really appreciate this, Alex. No problem, Riley. We're friends, and that's what friends do. Plus, I can't pass up on pizza. Ah, I knew the pizza would be a solid lure. I'll see you next Saturday then. See you then. And congrats again on the new place. Example 6 A pattern conversation between Alex, who has just realized their luggage is missing from the train, and Casey, a train attendant. Excuse me, I can't seem to find my suitcase. I think it might have been stolen. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you describe the suitcase? It's a large blue suitcase with a red ribbon tied to the handle. I kept it in the luggage compartment near the doors, but I just checked and it's gone. Okay, first things first, don't panic. Let me inform my colleagues so they can check if anyone has seen it in other compartments, or if it was mistakenly taken by another passenger. Thank you. I'm just really worried, it had all my essentials, including my medications. I completely understand. Let's fill out a missing luggage report. It'll help if we need to escalate the situation. Do you remember seeing anyone suspicious near the luggage area? I did see a man hovering around there a while ago. He had a gray hoodie on. I didn't think much of it at the time. All right, I'll note that down. We also have CCTV cameras on board, so if the luggage was indeed stolen, we should have it on video. I appreciate your help, Casey. I just hope it was an honest mistake and someone will return it. 
It's possible someone took it by accident, thinking it was theirs. It happens more often than you'd think. In the meantime, please make sure you have all your other belongings with you. I will, thank you. Hang tight, Alex. We'll do our best to locate your suitcase. Example 7. A pattern conversation between Ava, who has just discovered she's pregnant, and Liam, her partner. Hey, Liam, can we sit down and talk about something important? Of course. You seem serious. Is everything okay? I just took a pregnancy test, and it's positive. I'm pregnant. Oh, wow. That's unexpected. Believe me, I was as surprised as you are. I thought it was just stress making me feel off, but then I missed my period and decided to take the test. How are you feeling about this? I'm overwhelmed. A mix of emotions, really. Scared, anxious, but somewhere deep down, a bit excited too. It's a lot to process. I can imagine. I'm feeling the same. We didn't plan this, and it's a huge change. But we'll figure it out together. I was worried about how you'd react. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. But I'm here, and we'll navigate this together, no matter what. Do you? Do you want to keep the baby? I've been thinking about it, and I believe I do. But I also want to know how you feel. It's a decision we need to make together. I appreciate you involving me. Let's take a few days to let this sink in, talk more, and then decide what's best for us and our future. That sounds like a plan. Thank you, Liam, for being understanding. And thank you for being brave enough to tell me. We've always faced challenges together, and we'll face this one too. Example 8 Interview between a farm manager and a prospective farm worker. Good morning, Jamie. I appreciate you coming in for this interview. Let's dive right in. Tell me, what interests you about working on a farm? Good morning, Mr. Turner. I've always had a deep respect for the work that goes into farming. It's not just about tilling the soil and planting, it's about understanding the land, the weather, and the crops. I find it fulfilling to see the tangible results of hard work. That's a good perspective. Do you have any prior experience in farming or agriculture? Yes, I worked on a smaller farm for about two years. My responsibilities included feeding the livestock, maintaining the equipment, and assisting with the planting and harvest seasons. Excellent. What prompted you to leave your previous position and apply here? While I enjoyed my time there and learned a lot, I'm looking for a place where I can grow and take on more responsibilities. I've heard about the innovative practices at this farm, and I'd love to be a part of a team that's always pushing boundaries. I appreciate that. Farming can be unpredictable with long hours, especially during planting and harvest seasons. How do you handle stress and unforeseen challenges? I've learned that in farming, adaptability is key. When faced with challenges, I focus on what I can control and look for solutions. I believe in effective communication and teamwork to get through tough times. That's a valuable trait. What machinery or tools are you comfortable operating? I can operate tractors, plows, and harvesters. I'm also familiar with irrigation systems and basic farm tools. I always prioritize safety and ensure regular maintenance of any equipment I use. Great! How do you feel about learning new methods or technologies that we might introduce here? I'm always eager to learn. New methods and technologies can make our work more efficient and sustainable. If there are training sessions or resources available, I'd definitely dive in. That's the spirit we appreciate here. Lastly, what do you think you'd bring to our team? I'm a dedicated worker and quick learner. I genuinely care about the environment and believe in sustainable farming practices. 
I hope to bring my hands-on experience, passion for agriculture, and team spirit to contribute positively to this farm. Thank you for sharing, Jamie. We'll be in touch soon. Thank you for considering me, Mr. Turner. I look forward to the possibility of working here. Example 9. A patterned conversation between Alex and Jordan while they're preparing dinner. I'm so glad we decided to cook at home tonight. Going out to eat is nice, but there's something special about preparing a meal together. I totally agree. It's therapeutic in a way. And I think this recipe you found for the creamy tomato soup sounds delicious. I hope it turns out well. I saw it on that cooking blog we like. Apparently, it's a hit with their readers. Need any help with the pot? I think I've got this under control. But could you pass the salt? Sure thing. By the way, did you hear from your sister today? Yes, yeah, she called earlier. They're doing great, and the kids are excited for our visit next weekend. She's hoping we can teach her this recipe if it turns out well. Oh, that's lovely. I'll make sure to save it. Speaking of visits, do you think we should invite Ryan and Sam for dinner next week? That sounds like a great idea. It's been a while since we caught up. Plus, Sam mentioned she wanted to try more homemade meals. Maybe we could have a little cooking evening with them. Perfect. I'll text them later and set it up. By the way, this bell pepper seems a bit off. Should we skip it? Hmm, let me see. Yeah, let's skip it. We have enough veggies already. By the way, do we have garlic bread? We do. I got some from the bakery today. Should I pop it in the oven now? Please do. Nothing like fresh garlic bread with tomato soup. Agreed. Oh, and can you believe it's almost the weekend again? Time flies. Seriously. But I love our little routines. Makes weekdays something to look forward to as well. True. Especially moments like these. Cooking, chatting, just being together. Couldn't have said it better myself. Example 10. A pattern conversation between a customer, named Casey, and a customer service representative, named Taylor, for a broken phone claim. Hi, my name is Casey Smith, and I'd like to file a claim for my broken phone. Hello, Casey. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you provide me with your policy or account number so I can pull up your details? Sure, it's ABC123456. Thank you, Casey. I've got your details here. Can you describe what happened to the phone? Yes, I accidentally dropped it while getting out of my car yesterday. The screen shattered, and it's not turning on anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Accidents happen. We'll certainly assist you with the claim process. Can you confirm if you've tried charging the phone or performing any troubleshooting? Yes, I tried charging it overnight, but there's no response. I also attempted a hard reset, but that didn't work either. Thank you for confirming. Now, in order to process the claim, we'll need a few more details. Did the incident happen within the coverage area specified in your policy? Yes, it happened right outside my house. Great. We'll also need some photos of the damaged phone, especially the screen area, and a brief description of how the incident occurred. You can upload these directly through our mobile app or website. All right, I can do that. How long does the claim process usually take? Once we receive the necessary documents and photos, it typically takes three to five business days for the claim to be reviewed. If approved, we'll provide you with the next steps, which could be a repair or a replacement, based on your policy terms. Sounds good. One last question. Is there a deductible for the repair or replacement? Yes, there is a deductible based on your policy. For a situation like yours, it would be 
This would be payable upon approval of the claim, and before we proceed with the repair or replacement. All right, thank you, Taylor. I appreciate the help. You're welcome, Casey. We're here to help. Once you upload the documents, we'll get the process started. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you want more subscribe, check out my other videos.